Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him glory, give him praise. Basically, I want to get up on here just to encourage you to stay watchful in this hour, to stay strong in this hour. The enemy is sending, let me tell you something, evil is increasing on purpose. I know you guys see it. This is not the time to get laxy daisy. It's not the time to kind of like wimp out. It's not the time to like run and hide. This is the time where you sit up there and you become strong in the Lord, stronger in the Lord. Look what they're doing. Now y'all understand why there's an attack on our children. Moloch statue of child sacrifice on display. So it's on display. Go ahead. Um, Google it for yourselves. Cause I want to show you a couple of things. And this is on my Facebook page. Actually, someone sent this to me today. Now, if you don't know what Moloch is, Moloch was a God that they actually believed in and still do. And they sacrifice children. Now y'all understand the attack on children because they believe, let me tell you what they believe. They believe that the children, the blood of the children sanctifies them. The blood of the children purifies them. The blood of the children actually they bathe in it. The witches bathe in it, believe it, because they believe that it brings back their youth again. And to be honest with you, Satan actually grants it to them. But I want to show y'all something else. I want to show y'all something else. Also, about they're talking about magic being used. Remember, I told y'all, you got to watch for things like that. You know, in a recent Jim Baker show, these are not just magic things happening. This is demonic entities. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So you got to stay, you got to be on the watch. Y'all be acting like, oh, well, they're just talking. Nobody talking. You understand what's happening? These people are not playing. Because here's the deal. There's only two kingdoms, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the devil. Which one you weapon? Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because guess what? The line is being drawn this hour. Now, look about, look at this one. They got a new Barbie out. Barbie and Ken dolls transform into Baphomet. You think these people playing? You think they playing? <laughs> they sitting up there showing you who they are. This is the God of this world, the little G. And they coming out, and God says that this is their time. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm trying to tell y'all what's happening. This is the time that we stand and we strong in the Lord. It's not the time to get mad, get scared and run. This is the time that you get on your face before God. You pray before your God. You fast before your God. You stay alert. You watch your children. This is the time to pray like never before. This is the time to fast like never before. That's what time it is. It's not time to sit up there and be like a daisy. Let me tell you what God was telling me. God saying most Christians right now, you're going through something called, it's called a uh, attack. But what he's doing is he's allowing it so you can get stronger. It's that attack is you think it is a setback, but actually he's preparing you for your comeback because you have to be stronger in the next hour. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You're going to have to be stronger than you've ever been. Cause let me tell you what, what time it is. It's time of evil. Sodom and Gomorrah to the 10th power. And you cannot fight this kind of evil without having the anointing of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You see that little entertainment spirit people be doing? Uh, you ain't gonna be able to get in, you ain't gonna be able to pop popcorn with that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You think it's a game? <laughs> so I want to get up on, on here real quick and tell y'all, look what they're doing. They're letting it be known. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And y'all wonder what's going on with all that other stuff with Kanye. That's all a distraction. Didn't I tell you these people, they are unleashing who they really are. And God says in 2020, it's going to get worse. So what we need to do is we need to stay on the wall. We need to get in unity and you need to pray like never before. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And you have to gird each other. This is the season to gird each other. It's not the season to leave each other high and dry. Let me tell you something. We are the only people. Christians are the only people that leave their people wounded. What am I? saying wounded meaning that y'all about yourselves y'all gotta stop that because you don't know when your brother and your sister gonna need you to pray come on somebody lay hands on them and if you ain't got no power you can't help nobody else come on somebody hallelujah and you can't be um supping up all their power oh y'all ain't ready for me up in here hallelujah this stuff is real so I got to go, but I just want to get up on here and let y'all know this is not the time to retreat. This is the time to move forward, said the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. All right, you guys. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. Why do y'all think I say that, by the way? I say that because we are the end time army of God. Act like it, walk like it, talk like it, be like it. It's time. God bless.